Hey guys and welcome back to the next episode of my Road to the Completion Escape and in this episode I've completed so many of the smaller achievements is unbelievable. I think I completed about 20 to maybe 25 of the smaller achievements like unlock a few songs, do some smaller achievements I still got to do, and um, complete other things to be able to do these other requirements I've got to do for the cape but I've still got plenty to do. It's definitely going to be about two to three more episodes before I actually get my completion escape. I really underestimated some of these achievements like to unlock I think it's the Kadan title I've got to kill 1000 Kadan Rangers or the Mages and I figured out that's gonna take me about two to three hours and I really expected it to take a lot less than that but some of these achievements are a bit longer and some are obviously just a few seconds like the ones I'm about to show you now. So the majority of my completed requirements was actually unlocking songs. I had about 50 to maybe 60 songs to still unlock and some of them were, you know, a few seconds like go and listen to a musician in Pruftinus, that was like five of them. But then some of them were a bit harder. Like I had to go into the Trouble Brewing minigame and no one plays that anymore. So I had to get friends and clan members to come like come and help me out. And not everyone really wants to come and play that minigame. Especially just to unlock one song, so it was a bit hard, some of them, but some of them were just super simple, like just all those musician ones were just like heaven to me, but I thought it was going to take me about an hour to unlock the whole 50, but it's just the trouble of unlocking like the conquest one like I've never played before, but overall I'll say they're pretty good. Another requirement I unlocked this week was to complete an Arup mask. I got the first three pieces in a Slayer task, but then the other two outside of a Slayer task, I'm not sure if that matters or not, but it took me two hours to get. Funny enough, I got the last two, like one after the other. So that was quite surprising to me. I thought that after two hours, I got my first one. I was like, oh no, it's going to be like another two hours to get my next one. But I actually got them both in two hours. And also thanks to the person who traded the pieces so I can have like one of each. So thanks to that person. But I was quite surprised that it did take as long as it did, you know. They are uncommon pieces and you know that's like one in every 30 to 50 kills. So I was expecting it to be a lot faster than what it was, but I'm just thankful that that's over and now I can move on to my next requirement. This week I unlocked tons and tons of titles also. I think I unlocked three Priftinus and two other ones as a requirement also. I unlocked the Ithil one, the Hefin one, and one other, I just forgot which one it was. But the Hefin one was a complete 200 laps and that didn't take me long at all because I had previously gotten 99 agility, so just completing another 30 laps didn't take me that long at all. And also completing the Ithil one of making 100 crystal flasks, I was pretty close anyways, I was like an inventory away, so that didn't take me that long either. I bet some of you guys are kind of wondering why it suddenly changed to old school runescape. What I was thinking was, and this is up to you guys of course, because it's not just my channel, We, you know, it's a community channel, so if you guys don't want it, I won't do it. But what do you guys think of? every week posting two to three extra videos on top of my normal ones so I would not replace like RS3 videos it's still gonna be RS3 and old school but what do you think of each week posting two to three extra videos on top of all my other ones about old school runescape like money making guides road to max cape or some training methods something like that on top of my normal videos it's really up to you guys just comment down below if you would like it or not or if you would like it but just on specific things or you know whatever you want to do just comment down below and we can talk about it and we kind of see if it's worth doing in the future or not it will definitely be after I complete my road to the completion escape series so then I've got one less thing out the way and I can kind of focus on you know, old school runescape. Because once I get completion escape, I know that I'm not really going to be going for 120 capes or 200 mil experience for a long time. So I was kind of looking for new things to have an aim for. Like in old school runescape, I'll have like basic levels. So it's something I've been planning for quite a while. But it's really up to you guys. So if you want to talk about it down below, you can do so. And yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. And peace out.